Hey, what's going on? Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We're at the uh, LA Amp Show 2008, checking out some cool stuff from uh, Eventide. I've got Garrett with me here. Garrett, how you doing, man? I'm doing right. How are you? Oh, it's all good. You're going to demo some uh, cool stuff for us here today. I see you've got the, uh, the Time Factor and the Mod Factor. That's right. Okay, cool. All right, let's talk about the Mod Factor. I know a lot of people are talking about... Uh, this unit, I, I know I've heard the, the Q wah before, which is cool. You can go from a wah to a yaw and uh, change a lot of things that you normally qu can't quite do with the uh, other uh, effects units. Yeah, uh, let's start with the. I'll just start with the Q wah. Uh, right now, uh, the again with the mod factor, you've got the basic knobs, the basic controls are up up on top. The variations are down below. So to get a, acquainted with it. Uh, the best thing to do is to just start playing with these top knobs and typically one of the nice things is that uh, the billboard explains what it is you're doing. As soon as you turn a knob it tells you. For example, we've got two wah-wah sounds. We've got the regular wah sound and we've got a more vocal sound here. That's good. Now you can hear this is a, a time based, it's a regular uh, beat based. I should mention that there's a tap tempo on both of these boxes and there are various, various ways you can control the tempo. You can tap the tempo in and then you can tweak it with the knob. You can uh, take it off of tap tempo and dial it in in hertz if, if you're more comfortable with that. Just tremendous amount of flexibility. Um, but let's see, what I was going to say about this wah is right now it's, a, it's on a regular pattern but you've got a sine wave here, or I'm sorry, a, a, a shape filter so that you can change it from sine wave to triangle, to peak, to even to random. So, uh, ramp is a nice one. I'm gonna make that a little faster. Oh, that's a square wave. Now, on that same shape filter dial, you can change it to uh, envelope, which gives you like an auto wah sound. And remember, again, you can change from uh, vocal to wah wah tone and back. And you can also, uh, if you change this, put the shape all the way to the right, you're on an expression pedal, and then you've just got uh, standard wah wah. That's amazing. There are a lot of different ways to shape your tone in there, and that's just one. Uh, that's the wah. It also has, you know, a flanger, a chorus, uh, all kind of things in there. T take me through that. What else you all right, let's. Uh, let me just list off the various effects that we have to start off with. We've got chorus, because most people will be familiar with these effects. Uh, chorus, phaser, QA, which we just went through, flanger, a mod filter, a rotary, tremolo pan, vibrato, undulator, which is a, a unique uh, eventide sound that comes from stu their studio processors and is, is pretty well known. It's uh, unusual. And ring modulator. Let's go to the rotary. Uh, because that's gotten, that's been pointed out by reviewers in Guitar Player Magazine as being a specifically nice uh, Leslie sound. Very, very genuine sounding. Let me see if I can get that up here. Now again, um, even though it's a Leslie simulator, what Eventide has done is, is as you say, given a, a lot of unusual parameters. The first parameter you can adjust is between a, a standard size Leslie cabinet and what they call a giant size. Uh, so I'm just going to go with standard right now. Uh, and then you've got, uh, you have separate controls for the, uh, for the top rotor and the bottom rotor. If you're familiar with Leslie's, you know how those spin. You can, uh, you can adjust those separately and then you can adjust the balance between them. So uh, usually what you do when you're adjusting this is you go all the way to the left and adjust the rotor. Uh, so I'll have the rotor going at about that speed. Then I'm going to turn it all the way to the right to adjust the top, the horns. 
I'm gonna make those go a little faster because that's typically what happens in a Leslie. And then I'm gonna balance them together. It's really lush and I can tell you being in this room, the stereo effect is, uh, it's, it's really killer. Yeah, now here's another cool thing. Just like a regular Leslie, um, there's a pedal here which is, <clears throat> which is called the break or slow button, which is in the middle. So if you stomp and hold it, it acts like the brake on a Leslie, which actually stops, it, it, it has them roll down and then, um, and then speed back up when you take your foot off. Or the other thing you can do is stomp it once and it'll just go to a lower speed and stay that way. So let's, I'm just gonna, now you hear it spinning. You hear it slow down. Now you'll hear it speed up again as I take my finger off. Yeah, it slows down and speeds up just like a Leslie. Now, that's just with the top row of buttons. Uh, let's see, this last one is a tone, so you can adjust the tone. But underneath you have, of course, you have more modifications that no Leslie in the real world could ever have. Um, in this case, you, can, uh, you have a wave shape form, and you have a mod rate so that you can have it alternating the speed and alternating the depth of the Leslie sound beyond what the top knobs start to do. And what this does is it gives it a little bit of warble, a little bit, I mean, if you use it lightly, it gives it even a more organic sound um, because it, it's, it's more like the actual physical turning of a Leslie speaker, which might have some little variations in it. Or you can get wild and turn them up and make it go crazy. I'm just going to put in a little modification here to begin with. Or like I said, you can change it and get really crazy. See, now we're starting to get into uh, heavy chorusing. It's not, it's not really a Leslie emulator so much anymore because of the modifications that I've done to it. So I'm, I'm hearing a lot of the stuff that Eventide has done in rack systems for a long time that used to be like studio only kind of parameters, yeah. but it's all right here on the floor now. Yeah, that's right. And these are uh, absolutely the same algorithms reworked so that they can fit in a stomp box. Okay, the only thing I was going to point out um, is first of all, the, the these things are really bulletproof. They are very strong. Uh, you can get a good look at that. One of the things that first impressed me is uh, you've got a switch for both input and output can be either guitar level or line level. So this will plug right into a recording, uh, music recording system. Plus you have MIDI in and out, which means that you can control any of these parameters using uh, MIDI controls. Uh, you can also have this synced to uh, a MIDI beat, a MIDI clock, if you're if you're playing, so you can use it as a standalone processor, not as a stomp box at all. And there's USB too, I see. And uh, the USB is for downloading software. That's really the only use for it. It's not uh, for connecting to uh, a computer otherwise. Gotcha. Um, cool. Uh, it has a spot for the expression pedal for. It's not just for the mod factor, but the expression pedal as well. We don't have time to go into it, but the expression pedal can control nearly any of these knobs, and it's a very simple way to do it, which is you just, you have your heel at the bottom, you, you turn the knob to the position you want it to be, push it all the way toward the toe, turn the knob where you want that to be, and that's it. And then it'll follow the pedal. All right, so, man. If, uh, cool. if people want to find out more, we're going to go online. Uh, eventide.com. All right, Garrett, thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.